What's up with this boy Big Fields? We in New York. I just wrapped it up with Bodega Talks. Yeah, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Bodega Talks. It's your boy, Black Zinni, and on this episode, we're with Big Fizzle, a rising star from Arkansas whose love for sports and music has helped him prepare as a newcomer in the rap game. Hailing from Blytheville, the young rapper would have his work ethic set, with being the school's star quarterback and the city's hottest new artist, so it's only right that a superstar like Gucci Mane would sign him to 1017 to give Big the shine he's looking for. He would go on to release tracks like Turn Shit, Cruise Control, Snow Cone, and his debut mixtape Clark Street Baby. Determined to win and armed with sharp melodies and precise flows, Big Fizzle keeps the tracks hot and his lifestyle icy. My God, what's goody, what's goody, what's goody? How's everything, man? You not cold? Yeah, nah, I'm kink. God damn. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Bodega Talks. It's a cold night in October. I don't know why this nigga's not wearing a sweater. But all the way from Blytheville, Arkansas, we got Big Fizzle here with us. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. I'm Big Fizzle from Blytheville, Arkansas, 1017, you hear me? Playing in my brand, you hear me? Sorry, what? So, Blytheville, Arkansas. Tell me a little bit about it. I've never been to Arkansas. Like a big hood. Everybody know each other, mostly, because we went to school with each other coming up. Small town. The hood, small hood. Heard it. Uh, growing up, you played sports. You were a high school quarterback, correct? Yeah. You still play sports, like, now? Nah, I probably can't. I can, I can still, you know. You still fuck around? I could if I wanted to, but... No, I'm trying to leave it behind. Okay, 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 okay. Calm enough, calm enough. Um, so while in high school, you signed with Gucci Man. Um, correct? Or was this? It was in high school. It was like eleventh grade year, but it was in the summer. Okay, like, so this is between going grade. into senior year. Yeah. Did you continue to play football after that happened? I ended up playing like one game, and then you had to stop. Yeah, I'm missing out of practice. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So if you had to pick. Between a music career and an NFL career, what would you pick? A uh, music career, they would over here now. Okay. You got your song Bandit. Yeah. That was, for me, that was the first song I heard of yours. So. Now, what went into that song when you made it? Like, what, what about that song did you think was going to really set shit off? Yeah, and people around, like, my way, they were missing with it. They liked it. They liked it, so I ended up dropping and bro had ended up telling me to do a video to him. Pay for the video. Calm shit. All right, bet. So, you ever been to Bodega before? Uh uh, I ain't never been to Bodega. Bet that we about to stop over here. We over at Galaxy Deli. Sure. After you, my G. Sure. We're gonna get some food. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you $20. Yeah. You're gonna spend that. That's so that's our whole twenty dollars for you. You know what I mean? You get some food, you get a sandwich. Yeah. It's a whole lot of shit in here you can get, bro. They got burgers and shit. Ooh. Yeah, you dropped it. So you got my drop the hell. I'm going on this side. Start off on this right, side. Gotta start off. Some over here. Eat up. Apple. Apple juice. Burger. What you talking about? Yeah. Get a cheeseburger. I don't want nothing on it though. Cheeseburger. Yeah, you want a little cheeseburger. Fine. Two on. Two on. Let me get two on. Yeah, same thing. You don't want nothing on yours? Ah, uh, this one sell chopped cheese? Yeah. Damn, you just did us so bad, bro. All the chopped cheese you want, we're gonna have. But um, going back to what we were talking about earlier, after you finished high school and you like, after being signed and then finishing high school, do you, are you considering college at any point in the future? 
Yeah, I might go. Might go? Yeah. What would you mean? Once I get old, yeah. being, you know. Business management? Yeah. Type yeah. shit? Okay. Heard it. So growing up, what was before, before, before rapping? Like, when did that start, first of all? To my rap. When did you start making music? I made a song a long time ago. I was just in my room. I had wrote it on some paper. I was probably about 9, 10. 9, 10, somewhere in that 9, 8, 20. Oh, all right, so but I wasn't taking it serious, though. I just had roast. Like, I was just writing some shit. It probably wasn't even that hard. Just some little shit I wrote on the paper, you know? So when did you start taking it serious? Rabbits. Yeah. 11th grade, end of it. When I got signed, really, that's when I started taking it serious. Being signed to 1017, obviously, there's a certain amount of pressure that comes with that. What do you, what do you expect to learn from the label? And like, what is, what's the limit? Like, what's the, what's the sky for you? I just want to you know. You better learn more beat. You know? Like I see, learn more beat. Learn everything I need to know to get built. What's your favorite part about New York so far since you've been here? I like, I like, I like people don't sleep. Like it's always acting type shit. They in a big ass building and not a license shit. In Arkansas what? They, what time have we done in Arkansas? It's about one o'clock, everybody in, one two. Everybody in the crib? And one two, everybody in. Probably see some cars out. Yeah, but a couple cars out. Nothing crazy though, but right? But traffic ain't gonna be stopped though. Fuck around, be out here at three o'clock at night, traffic stopped though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that. You been out in New York? Yeah, a little bit. Not, not like in no club, but I went to Times Square. Oh, all right. You fuck with Times Square? Yeah, I fuck with Times Square. Calm, calm, calm. A lot of lights and shit. <laughs> That's true. So your upcoming project, you got Clark Street. Yeah. All right. Tell me about that. Clark Street, baby, that's my first album. I fuck with them because she, I feel like it was about me. Like where I come from. Let my fans that don't know me. Get to know me, touch. Now, your fans, where would you say they're mostly from? Probably around my area, about Memphis, and um, around Arkansas area, Mississippi. Now, we were talking about goals earlier. Obviously, you want to learn everything you want to learn out here. If there was one place you could perform, Rolling Loud. I fuck with Rolling Loud. I want to do a Rolling Loud perform. Okay. Now, you worked with Quavo. Gucci Mane, No Cap, over for Mobile. So, um, shout out No Cap. Shout out. Thanks for being on the show. Now, after working with them, who else do you see yourself working with? I don't really fuck with a lot. I fuck, I fuck with Young and Asian music. Shit, I don't, I don't really listen to a lot of rappers, though. So. Focus on yourself? Yeah. Feel that? What time are you waking up in the morning? Early. On a Monday? Early. Really, man. So, nah, probably about, <laughs> probably about 9, 10. Sure. 9, 10, not bad. I ain't gonna lie. Not that 9, bad. 10, not bad. As long as you're about 9. 9, 10, for sure. All right, so now, <laughs> what would the normal day, what's a normal day for you? Now that you're signed and everything, like let's say you wake up on Tuesday at 11 o'clock, what's your day like? Like me. Waking up. Brush my teeth first, put on my clothes. I'm out, type shit. So there's a studio first? Probably, depends on the day. All right, um, last question. I wanted to know what was next for you, project-wise, tour-wise. What can I What can I expect? I got a new album coming out called Chosen 1K. But like, it's gonna be better than my last album. But like it got some of my best songs on there, though. Who's on that? Um, got Big Scar, Set, um, him, me, JB, and just me. Rest of just me. Fifteen songs of me. All right. So when does that project drop? On um, November sixth. November sixth. So yeah. you gonna do like some type of release event, something like that? Pre -release? Yeah, probably so. Out here or back home? Back home. Okay, that's that. That's hard. What about uh, so tour? I know tour yet. I ain't got no tour yet. But on the way. Yeah. Working on it. I feel that. Yeah. Appreciate that.
All right, my G, thank you for your time. I'm still shocked you're not wearing a sweater. <laughs> Shit crazy. But when you come to New York for that tour, man, I don't need some tickets. Yeah, for sure. Forget about me, G. For sure, I got you.